So, um, we have the trail cameras. Don't mind the date. That was never updated. You can see here the coyotes. I don't know what kind. And then some of the cuter or friendlier animals that we also caught, Chris caught, on the trail cams. And then here's the excavator and Chris dealing with the last of the wood pile that was all the clearing trees and everything else. I still can't believe that he's getting so comfortable with heavy equipment and chainsaws and I don't know, he's doing great. Really getting into the, the country life. Our um, neighbor that reached out from the time that Chris saw the bear um, is here on, on this tractor with the brush hog. Brush hog? Brush hog? Whatever it is. Um, came over and is he's just amazing and I don't know, I don't know what else to say about a man that has helped us so much. came and took his brush hog through and then realized that further back here there is another field or clearing or I, I'm not too sure what this property was ever used for or used by or why or any of that good stuff but we discovered that there's another clearing back here I had a I had a I knew there was a clearing back here. I didn't realize it was quite as big as this. This is one of my other wonderful neighbors who's come to help me with their brush hog. So we've got this beautiful big clearing back here now. This is kind of a, a grove, I guess. It was all overgrown with uh, brambles and thicket and all kinds of stuff. You can see that we've got a I'm not too sure this was a man-made ditch you can't see it very well on the camera to, to get the water away from here or I'm not too sure what this was back here but I just thought I'd show you all real quick beautiful dragonflies but now that we've cleared it up we can we can maintain it to this level and uh, Rachel wants uh, like a sunroom made out of old windows and old brick and I think that would be beautiful back here to be honest and then this is the other that is now linked to it it didn't before it does now this is another clearing that we I came through with the uh, the ride on mower which uh, might have shortened the life of my mower but I was curious so there's another it's a lot smaller it's a lot but this is it's still it's still land that we didn't know we had to begin with. We really haven't explored the acreage that much. And then I have to walk back the way I just came. I mean, look how beautiful that is. It's only like 9.30 maybe, so the sun's still coming up and it's just, it's beautiful back here. Little secret areas back there. And then this joins on to another field, not actually connected. So I might just have to cut down a couple of trees and actually connect all the, all the clearings together. This is one that I made my way through in the ride on mower yesterday as well. I can find a way through here without getting hit in the face. I came through here yesterday with the, the ride on mower. There's another little, I think it's a little plum tree. I think it's just been so overgrown and so smothered and there's vines all grown up the bottom of it and I can take care of that. Give it a good cut back, see if we can get some plums out of it. But yeah, I think this or I'd love to clear this and make this into an orchard. I think it's a beautiful little orchard. 
And then through here. Is, I didn't know this little path existed until I came. I was just exploring and found I had to cut a couple of little trees out the middle of it and all that good stuff. But I'm fairly sure I've shown you this. This is where my Into the Thick of It video time lapse was filmed. This this I knew was here. This was an easy this was an it's wide open at the other side, but the other ones were all we had to fight to get into them. So I just thought I'd show you the little bit of progress we've made. I've now started branching out and doing some other stuff because I've finally finished my giant piles of trees. So they're all gone, so now I can just, while we're still building the house and not living out here, I can just come out and do little bits and pieces. But yeah, it's just, we're so fortunate and so blessed to have such a beautiful piece of land that, I mean, it just makes my day that I didn't know all the stuff was back here really. And then these are all, these all run alongside, I'm sure you've seen the pictures of the high road that I named because of Scotland. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd show you. And, Hope y'all have a great day. See you again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 